Okay, question 11. So the daily world production of oil can be modelled using V is equal to 10, add 100, T over 30 cubed, minus 50, T over 30, to the power of 4. Where V is uh, the volume of oil in millions of barrels, and T is the time is since 1980. The model is used to predict the time T when oil production will fall to zero. Uh, we want to show that T satisfies the equation T is equal to the cube root of uh, 60t squared add 116,000 over t. Okay, well, what do we know then? So we know that when when v is equal to zero, little t is equal to capital T. So, we get, um, we're going to get 10 add 100 t over 30 all cubed, so 10 add 100 t over 30 all cubed minus 50 t over 30 to the power of 4. Now that is equal to zero. So let's expand the brackets. So we get 10 add 100 t cubed over 30 cubed. 30 times 30 is 900 times 30 is uh, 27,000. Um, and then minus 50 t cubed, sorry, t to the power of 4 over 30 to the power of 4, which is going to give us 810,000. So that is equal to 0. So, cancel a lot of this. 10 and common factor of 100 here. So we get uh, t cubed over uh, 270 and then minus now 50 uh, over 810,000. That simplifies to um, 1 over 16,200. So, we've got minus t to the power 4 over 16,200. Okay, so, if we uh, run out of room, as always. If we now add that t to the power of 4 term to both sides, then we're going to get 10 add uh, t cubed over 270 is equal to t to the power of 4 over 16,200. Okay, now then, if we look at what we want, we want to end up with a cube root, there's no power of 4 anywhere, and we want to end up with a t on the bottom of a fraction. So, at this point, 
if we divide three by t, and then we get ten over t and t squared over two seventy is equal to t cubed over sixteen thousand two hundred. Now if we multiply through by sixteen thousand two hundred then we get uh, 162,000 over T. And now 16,200 over 270 will give us 60 T squared. That is equal to T cubed. Finally, cube root, and we get cube root 162,000 over t, and 60t squared is equal to t. Go. Okay, then part two, it says use in the iterative formula t n plus 1 is equal to the cube root of 16 tn squared add uh, 116,000 over tn with t0 equals 38 to find the values of t1, t2 and t3 to three decimal places. So this is just use of calculator, it's iteration. So put in t0 so, 38, and then press equals. Now, put in the iterative formula. Wherever there is a TN, press the ANS button. Now, if you press equals, once you've got the formula in, you will get T1 is 44.963. Press equals and can, and you'll get T2 is 49.987. Press equals and again, and you will get T3 is 53.504. Okay, A part 3 wants us to explain the relevance of using T0 is 38. So, in the original model, T is years after uh, 1980. So, if T is equal to T0, which is 38, that means, uh, that means we are starting at 38 years after, um, 1980. So, 2018. Cool. Okay, then for part B, we're told from the 1st of January 1980, the daily use of oil by one technologically developing country can be modelled as V is equal to uh, 4.5 times one point. 0.63 to the power of t. We want to use other models to show that the country's use of oil and the world production of oil uh, will be equal during the year 2020. 
So, the first thing that springs to mind is to set the models equal to each other and solve for t. But, look at the state of the first model. That is going to be completely horrific. So, let's instead, let's first of all work out the value of t uh, when the year is 2029. So, in 2029, t is equal to 2029 minus 1980, which is 49. So, in 2029, t is 49. So, what we're going to do, we're going to work out some values of each function. So, first of all, we're going to do world production. So, when, uh, so, in 2029, t is 49, now if we substitute that into our formula for v, we get 89.89. .89. Now what I'm also going to do is work out the world production in 2030, so 50 years after 1980. The reason I'm going to do this is that I'm then going to use the same values of T for the use of oil by this country and hopefully we will see that between 2029 and 2030, the use of the country will overtake the production of the world. So, in 2050, sorry, 2030, t is equal to 50, and v is equal to t, uh, 87.16 Okay, so now let's do the same for the use of oil. So the country's use. So in 2029 T is 49 and V is putting T equals 49 into the formula above we get V is 89.81 and then in 2030 T is 50, V is uh, 95.47. So, let's see what we can see here then. So, in 2029, or when T is equal to 49, so we're at the start of 29, 2029, so, we can see that the world production is greater than the country's use. So, on 1st of January 2029, world production is greater than the country's use but then at the start of 2030 the country's use is 95.47 whereas the world production is 87.16 
I would say, but on the 1st of January 2030, world production, let's just call it WP, is less than uh, the country's use, so let's call that CEU. Therefore, uh, the oil used by the country must have overtaken world production during 2020 no, I'm... Go.